We have been very interested in prescribing for a long time, um, partly because we know it's something that junior doctors are very anxious about when they graduate from medical school and become proper doctors. We also know that prescribing errors are very common and so we were keen to work with junior doctors to understand their um, prescribing experiences and see what we could do to help. Well I think in conjunction with Karimatic we, we were both quite interested in why and how junior doctors make mistakes when they fill out the prescription chart. We know that there is a very high rate of um, error on the drugs, on the drug charts, running at about uh, one in five prescriptions written have some kind of error. Now most of those are relatively minor, um, we have very minor impact on the patient, but some are actually more serious. There's very little hard evidence of the benefits pharmacists directly bring to um, patient care, at least it's not published in the, in the literature and we were keen I think to be part of um, generating some primary evidence um, to show what pharmacists, what difference pharmacists can make to patient care and patient safety. So the intervention was a really simple intervention um, where we videoed junior doctors taking drug histories from patients um, and then we also videoed separately them writing up the drug chart. The, the process for the intervention was uh, basically we gave a doctor a drug history um, pro forma um, and a drug chart and told them go take a medication history from the patient and write up a drug chart. I decided to take part in the project because I'd heard other um, colleagues that had taken part already and they said that it was a really useful exercise. The experience of taking part in the intervention was very interesting, enjoyable, easy, didn't take very long. I think the thing that I learned the most was I was amazed at how often I was interrupted when I asked, whilst I was writing the drug chart. I think I was interrupted something like 12 times. So yeah, I, I, when we started doing this I had no idea what sort of um, reduction in errors we'd get, but we did actually get about, it was 39% um, reduction in prescribing errors, which is not insignificant. <laughs> Well, I mean, there are two bits that really excite me about this project. I mean, the most dramatic thing was the reduction in errors that the junior doctors made. I have changed my practice as far as working on a busy ward allows. Uh, when I'm writing up a drug chart, I do try to, I either try to find a quiet place or if nursing, because quite often they see a doctor on the ward and they kind of grab you and say, can I just have a fluid prescription? Can I just let you know this? And when that does happen, I try to say, can you just give me five minutes? The easiest way to try and spread this is to just do it. it like, it won't be time wasted. It's not, it doesn't take a lot of time to do any of these iterations. At, at very most, it takes a pharmacist four hours. really pleased and encouraged that our really quite simple um, intervention that we designed was able to make quite a tangible difference for patients. I think that it's just great to have an opportunity for clinical pharmacists and clinical pharmacy teams to be involved in um, generating evidence of the benefit of um, pharmacists bring to patient care. The key message for us as a team is we've demonstrated this works in um, a single environment in one hospital. Uh, what we're working on now is working how you could spread it across the whole hospital, but particularly how you can take this to different hospitals um, and get it applied consistently and continuously. Very worthwhile, very positive. I thought it was it's a fantastic project, it's a really good idea um, and I would strongly encourage people to take part. Mm -hmm.